there, Chloe. Look, I was so happy. I was, it was kind of a relief in an awkward way, but um, I was so happy it was me rather than Braddles because I see Braddles has a huge journey to learn and I feel like I'm 25. I've done such great things with my life and I'm glad it was me. I can't wait to see all the fans and I love you all. I find that it was a lot harder in the end because you're talking about the same stuff you talked at the start. So you have to come up with new exciting ideas and topics and this is where Michael excelled. He is a genius, well, obviously he's a genius, but uh, it was hard um, for me to find more conversation because we didn't have much in common. It was just so good to go in the outside world now and meet people more common to my liking. Um, good question. Like, I'm the worst person reading people, but I would say no personally, and I hope they dislike me for who I am instead of me having money. But um, I think it changed a bit for the girls. They were just like, ooh, you know. I think girls love to see someone that's successful and strong and blah, blah, blah. But um, maybe a little bit for the girls, but for the boys, I think it was the same. With Michael, I was like, oh, I didn't, I would have never picked it, but that man always has a theory for everything. So it's true, I didn't um, engage in much topical conversation as I didn't know much about music, entertainment, media, but I expected from Joshy, we hardly clicked because he's to opposite of me, so fair enough. The reason for this is uh, Christelle and I, we just found it was, we're in that time of our life where there's so many opportunities to be had. If I was with Christelle, I wouldn't apply for Big Brother. She wouldn't have went to Dubai and do her dream job of travelling around the world, working for Emirates. So timing these days is such a big thing. I think like back in the day when there wasn't that many opportunities, yeah, fair enough. But now we, the, world, the world's our oyster, so grab it by the hands and do as much as you can. I think I think she she would say she hates it, but I think she would secretly love it because she I know who she want to nominate. So yeah, good on you, um, Layla. Do what you think's right. If, if, if this is the proper Layla, she will nominate Angie for sure because she I know she's sick of Angie. I think once girls argue, once girl, girls are best friends and they argue, that's it never can be fixed again. Oh, you can just feel the tension there. They, they say hello and they talk, but you can see you can see they just want to run away from each other. It's just all show at the moment. Bradley, I see him as a boy that's turned into a man. He's just, uh, his confidence is unbelievable and I love it when he looks at me like for approval, I'll be like, perfect temperature Bradley, perfect. Yeah, so I can't wait to see him what he's like in the outside world. Um, I've had my dreadies since I was about 21 and I wash my hair every three to four days and as everyone said in the house, they smell like strawberries, so I'll let you have a smell if I ever see you. <laughs> Oh my God, Josh and Ava were so painful. All I heard at night, when because I, I was the pretty much well, pretty close to them, all I heard was, I just wanted to go up there and just get a pillow and suffocate both of them. It was the most painful thing to sleep to. I couldn't sleep, it killed me. If I could evict anyone now, it would probably be, I'll go with Joshy. Because that's the person I least connected with on the, in the house, and um, yeah, uh, so I can I don't have to hear the kissing thing as well. That just killed me. <laughs> I think they will love it, and I'm so upset that Razor Ray could not see the dog. He would have been in his element, and um, I would have loved to see that dog as well. I love dogs, so oh, they will love it.